whilst Team GB is playing on the world stage at the minute, facing top opposition. Let's talk about our list for the top 5 British forwards. Just to be clear, we are only looking at GB forwards who played this season in the Elite League. So we won't be counting the likes of Liam Kirk, Cade Nielsen or Brett Perlini etc. This list is based on their all-round play. But before we get into the top 5, let's take a look at some honourable mentions. Ali Betteridge had a decent season, although finishing short due to injury. He had a bit of a breakout season offensively this year with 16 goals. But is really a two-way forward, often on the penalty kill. He doesn't make our top 5, but is a solid young player. Jordan County had a decent year as a depth center option. I think sometimes we don't give him too much recognition. Perhaps being in a smaller market team like Guilford. And also not seeing him on the Team GB roster. But I wanted to give him a shout out, as I think he had a decent year. I could see a situation where Waller makes the top 5 next year. He had a real breakout season. Playing on that all GB line the Devils had going. With Duggan and Davis. I think he has a good shot and some real offensive instincts. I think he is a guy that a team needs to find a top 6 role for to see his true ability. Noted GB goal scorer Ross Venus didn't make our top 5. But definitely had a solid year and is worth an honorable mention. Jonathan Phillips will get an honorable mention until he retires. Probably one of the best defensive forwards team GB has. His leadership, his experience. The guy has been excellent. Lewis Hook had a career year with the Giants this season. He was an excellent depth option, and is the kind of guy that can play up and down the lineup if needed. He doesn't make our top 5 but definitely gets an honorable mention. Matthew Myers had somewhat of a resurgent year. The guy had 16 goals across all competitions this year for the Panthers. As always he has been an effective center. And excellent in the face-off dot. Two-way guy, can play in all situations. Myers was the closest to making our top 5 list, but just falls short. Now we have talked about our honorable mentions, let's take a look at our top 5. At number 5 we have Luke Ferrara. He is one of the best wrist shots of any GB forward. And this year he put up 26 goals and 27 assists for 53 points in 54 games. Just shy of a point per game player. What drops him down the list is at times he can be a bit of a defensive liability. But no one can deny he is one of the best GB goal scorers. He had a really good year and we have him at 5. At number 4, we have Ben Lake. Playing both center and left wing he is a real versatile player. He is the kind of guy that could play up and down your lineup. But with 20 goals and 29 assists for 49 points in 62 games he has had a great year offensively. With Team GB he has played across lines 1 and 2, mostly on the wing. He had a great year this season with the Giants lifting 2 of 3 trophies. A big part of their success was due to having solid GB talent at the core such as Whistle, Conway, Garside and Ben Lake himself. We have him at number 4. At number 3 we have Evan Mosey. Mosey is the definition of a versatile player. He can play forward. He can play on the blue line. You can put him on your top line. Or on your fourth line. He can start on power play 1. And on your first penalty kill unit. He scores goals, he defends well. He is one of the fastest players in the league. I would love to see a race between perhaps Mosey and Boucher for fastest skater among others. He had 20 goals. 34 assists for 54 points in 64 games this year for the Steelers. He had an excellent season and I have loved watching this guy whether it was with the Panthers, the Devils and now the Steelers. A real class GB forward. We have him at 3.
At number 2 we have Robert Dowd. He led the Steelers in goals this season with 33 across all competitions. He has been one of the most consistent goal scorers of a generation for GB. Scoring 67 points in 67 games. He is truly elite offensively. What's all impressive is his all-round game. Not afraid to make big hits, or even take hits to make a play. I wonder if he will be the next captain of the Steelers in a couple of years. He has those on-ice leadership qualities that makes a great captain. Just an all-round excellent GB forward and we felt he had the second best year of any GB forwards. And at number 1 we have Scott Conway. No surprises here. He was arguably the best or at least top 2 forwards in the league. Excellent in the faceoff dot. Leads the league in points with 101 in just 69 games. 41 goals. Can play center or wing. He lead the Giants to the Challenge Cup and league titles this past season. What more can be said? He was undoubtedly the best GB forward this year. So did we get it right? Leave your top 5 list in the comments below for top GB forwards. It's fun to think about, especially whilst watching Team GB on the world stage at the minute. Please share the video around, and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.